Uh, hi guys, uh, waiting for others to join. Can you hear me? Yes, well, right. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying to connect my headphone. I can hear you guys, but using my laptop, just give me a minute. Meanwhile, I'm waiting for others to join so we can start. Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, can you hear me now, guys? Yes. Okay, great. So let's start. Uh, meanwhile, others are joining. I'll quickly uh, do a recap what we have done. Uh, we started uh, with load balancing. We discussed what is load balancing, uh, how many load balancing options are there. There are four. We discussed one of them, load balancer. I hope all of you uh, know it by now that load balancing is a service. Uh, load when load balancer is a product. Okay. We saw that. We'll again go go to portal and check that. Load balancing is a technology, and then we have four of them here. Uh, we discussed about them. Let me. Here it is. So, do you guys have any questions on topics which we discussed uh, in last session? about load balancer under load balancing we have load balancer application gateway traffic manager front door we are still on load balancer we discussed load balancer the theory part we created a load balancer we uh, configured load balancer we assigned some machines to the load balancer we uh, created different websites for the training purpose for testing purpose other than that there will be always similar websites or same application on all the backend servers when it comes to load balancers. Okay, but for testing purpose, we hosted different websites on all of our on all three uh, servers which which were there in the backend. So we did all of that. Uh, anyone has any questions related to that? Today I'm planning to do the same thing, but instead of website, we'll try RDP. Yes, guys. So before we proceed, anyone has any questions, any doubt? Did you guys try it? Did you guys read it? Load balancer is something, guys. It's very important topic. You cannot skip it. Interview may be pucha jayega or kam may be aata hi hai. So load balancer is one of the uh, important topics. So any anyone has any questions, please let me know. And this is the diagram which we created or we referred. Uh, these are our users. This is the load balancer. This is the IP which we used. This, this was our IP which we used for load balancer. One IP is the public facing IP, which is the public IP address. All my users will access this IP address. It could be for my website or application, could be anything. Okay. Uh, then behind it, this is called the backend pool. Backend pool, we could have a number of servers for, uh, for testing purpose. We had only three of them. On these three servers, uh, we hosted a website and then we checked that uh, we, we tried pinging the public IP address and it was redirecting the traffic to three of them equally. And when we shut down the first computer, first server, it, then it was distributing the traffic equally uh, between these two servers. Then we shut down two servers. So all traffic uh, was uh, redirecting to the one server. We did this. Anyone has any doubt or any questions in this case? No, for me. Uh, what about others? Did you guys try doing it? Anyone tried? Yes, guys, anyone tried? I'll take that as a no. Please try, guys, unless you try on portal. And now we are doing weekend classes, right? So you have enough time. You you have enough time in whole week at least take practical to Carlo. So you will get those questions. Karte ve, kuch na kuch error aega na, to questions aega. Otherwise, if you don't do it, just watch the video. To questions bhi nahi aega. And when you do not have questions in your mind, you will not be able to answer uh, the questions which an interviewer is going to ask you. Wo question tabhi answer hoge when you start creating. You start creating and you I'm I'm sure 
most of you will get error for the first time. Kuch na kuch, maybe silly error, but those errors are going to help you, right? So please make sure that you practice. Uh, as of now, I will create uh, three machines. Again, the same practical we are doing. Uh, load balancer, ka, but this time I'll be very quick. I am not explaining all options because we have already done that. Uh, but still for people who did not attend, it will be a revision and for us also, it will be a, another practical for load balancer. Yesterday, uh, last session, uh, we did load balancer. We did load balancer on HTTP for a website. And this time we'll do it for website and also for RDP and we'll try both of them. Any doubt in, in today's agenda? No, clear. Okay, so I hope you all are clear that load balancing is an Azure service. As I'm repeating myself many times, I understand this takes time, but it's it's for your own good, right? Uh, one topic we have done multiple times, one topic or one component, I talk about that twice or thrice, but it is just for you guys to remember. So if I talk about it four or five times, you will at least remember something. Okay, so load balancing, it's, it's a, a technology for load balancing. We have four services from Azure. This is this is specific to Azure. These services are load balancing technology. It was there before cloud. It is in cloud also. Okay, load balancer tab se hai, cloud nahi tha. Okay, so load balancing was there. Load balancing is here now. And in cloud, when it comes to AWS and GCP, they also have load balancing. Under load balancing technology, they have different services. Names could be different. We are not discussing them now, just to avoid confusion. If some, anyone wants, I can quickly send an image or uh, which has all the data that AWS uh, has this service for load balancing, GCP has this service for load balancing, Azure has this, but we are focused on Azure, so let's talk about Azure. So under load balancing technology, we have four services. We have application gateway. This is also one of the load balancers. Front door, it is a load balancer. Uh, load balancer, it is a load balancer, very famous. Most of the time they ask about this and uh, widely used. Traffic manager, this one is also a load balancer. I told you in last session also, this is the box. This is your Bible when it comes to load balancer. Keep it in front of you on a screen, on your screen, a, a printout or anything or in your mind. Interview ke jitne bhi questions hai load balancers are related. They are not going to come out of this box unless it is a scenario specific or troubleshooting. But if, when it comes to troubleshooting, you can simply say that I was a part of implementation implementation team and the support was not our part. For example, now you are a part of implementation team. Okay, I've given you a task. Uh, now, now I just texted you guys that create three virtual machines. Okay, uh, let's say uh, instead of this short period of time, today I text you guys. Okay, guys, uh, in, in next, in next session or next Sunday, I will be doing XYZ practical. For that, I require three virtual machines. So uh, I dedicated to someone, maybe Samitra, Amit, or Srishti, or anyone, or Asif, okay, could you please create it? You have this whole week. Okay, You are trying to create it on day one, and you are facing some problem. And you're trying to troubleshoot and troubleshooting. You, you realize that troubleshooting is going to take two to three hours uh, behind one virtual machine. So what would be your approach? Would you troubleshoot or just scrap it and create a new one? Create a new one. Exactly. So this is why, why I gave this example, this long example, just to make you understand that what is the difference between support and <clears throat> implementation team. Support person cannot do that. In support, I'm saying that this is my load balancer. I created uh, last week. Everything is working fine. My applications are there. My websites are there. Everything is in load balancer, this service, this server is up and it's, it is still not uh, uh, sending the traffic to this server. You cannot simply ask me to delete everything. Okay. In support, you have to troubleshoot. So you need to know the troubleshooting steps also. So your questions are different over there. Those will come from here. This uh, troubleshooting wala section. I have been uh, referring to this all almost in every lecture and every topic I have been doing this. This is just for the virtual machine, but if you go for any uh, service, you will have this diagnose and solve problem. From here, those uh, uh, troubleshooting questions will come. But you can say that being a part of implementation team, I did not focus on troubleshooting much. Why? Because that is not my scope. I am creating something new. If it is taking time, if it has stuck, and the troubleshooting is going to take some time, maybe two hours or 24 hours sometimes, and then I'll have to involve Microsoft, where I have to pay for Microsoft. So that is not at all a sensible decision for me as a resource and for business. Why to pay? Microsoft charges approximately $500 for one support call. Okay, it's not a, a small amount. 
So why should why should I do that? I'll simply what will I do? I'll delete it from and I'll create it from scratch. It is easier and it, it will consume less time. So that is the approach I follow. I as in you can say in, 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 in an implementation team, that is the approach I follow. Is it clear? So when you say that, uh, then your question again, uh, it narrows down to this box. Okay, so you implement it, maybe uh, you get requests for all kind of load balancers. So you must be knowing about it. So the, your, your questions again will be narrowed down to this box. Okay, then tell me the difference between load balancer and application gateway. Tell me the difference between traffic manager and front door. These are the questions you will be getting and all those questions can be answered from this box. Is it clear guys to everyone? Yes. Yes, what about others? Is it clear only for Srishti? Sanmitra, Amit, yes. Asifai, yes, yes. Yeah, I hope it's clear. Yes. I mean, I am not yeah. expecting everyone to answer. Okay, <laughs> don't take in that manner. I'm not ex expecting everyone to say yes, 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 not that. But if you're not getting it, then please say no. Okay, if you're not saying it, I'll consider it as a yes. But if you're not understanding it, please make sure you raise it. Okay. So let's start with this. Uh, I will create three virtual machines and will be very quick with this one and today guys I'm showing you one more method uh, like we have been discussing only about load balancer and we did not discuss about the data synchronization okay in these you no know, uh, servers may uh, how will you make sure the data is synchronized so there are two methods today I'm teaching you one of them uh, if time permits we'll uh, see the second one also if not uh, maybe next lecture okay so now I am creating three servers and I want to host a website so what will I do and I want to keep everything similar, at least from the website front view point of view. Okay, the, the front page which I get. For example, if I open this one, uh, let me open this. And if, if I go to uh, Amazon, okay. So at least this page, this page should be similar for everything, for everyone. Okay, this is the page I want similar for everyone. And the moment I click on something, the moment I click on something here, now this is taking me to the database side. Okay, now database, my database is not hosted. It is not hosted on my servers. Database again, if we come back here in, in, in our diagram, can you see? Database by default, it's not by default. I mean, by choice, we have created single database. So even if there are multiple machines, database is single. So no matter you go from here, you go from here or you go from here, you will get similar thing. It is not going to happen that on iPhone 13, if I click on from this computer, let's say I'm a user, okay? I hope you guys are getting it. If you are not, please let me know. Let me take the annotation pen so I'll, I can explain it to you. Okay. So I'm a user, <clears throat> or let's say Amit is a user. He's going from here. This is Amazon's website. IP address in IP address or name. It could be anything. It's just a matter of a DNS record. He types the IP address or name and now he goes here to this server. He gets connected to this server. Whatever al al algorithm is there at the behind all servers are up and now he sees uh, Amazon page. Similarly, this is that's a Shristi or Sanmitra or any other user goes here. Red gets redirected to this one. Uh, sorry about the diagram. Okay. So <clears throat> gets redirected here now he or she is also looking for the same thing now because i have an image the method which we are trying to do now I'll, I'll show you how to create an image so because i have an image the web page is appearing similar to me exact similar to me okay this one again we, if we take amazon's example similar website but when this user clicks on iphone 13 if a database would be different he will see different details maybe a different price different colors different available options 128 variant available hai ya nahi hai green color mein hai ya nahi hai this user will see something different and is it a good thing for your business it is not at all you will have to maintain both these database then aapko isme bhi synchronization wagera karna padega and that is a very tedious task so to avoid that what do we do or what uh, our industry standards or the practice best, best practices that you have only one database and connect all your machines to one database so th there are there are no chances to you know have any different data it's only one database only at the front you have multiple machines just to balance your load but you have a single database now, obviously the backup of this database will be there when i say single that does not mean it is just an isolated or uh it's, it's a one point failure backup 
but that applies in every case. If I have two databases, to iska bhi backup lena padega, then I'll have to take two databases. And if I do this, guys, will it be a high availability concept? First, tell me that thing. If I am maintaining two databases and I'm connecting this server to particular to, to this database, so yahan par to high availability ho gayi. Now, if this user comes here, Amazon page access kar pa raha hai, hai? Now, this goes to this server. Or ye wala is database connected in here. So last time what he added to his cart, he will not be able to see. So the expenses and everything, those are the secondary thing. The primary, this concept will not be called an high availability. This is an individual thing. Is it clear to everyone? Yes. Okay. So we have only single database here for that. So Database is single. Now, how to uh, sync or how to make sure that the similar website page is there that we are going to learn. So, for that, I do nothing. I just uh, create a virtual machine. I'm not uh, showing it to you right now, okay? Because I already have a virtual machine, and all of you know I'm sure about it. All of you know how to create a virtual machine. You create a virtual machine, you log into that virtual machine, you uh, host your website over there, you uh, turn off some port, turn on some ports. Jo kuch aapko karna hoga, sab kuch aap is virtual machine pe karoge. This is like your a golden master image it is called. Okay, so this is your golden image. Whatever you want to do, you do it on this machine. Jis tarah ka website aapko banana hai, uh, whatever you want to do it. Ports, firewalls, uh, services, everything you configure on this machine. User ID, password, everything. Uh, CPUs and RAM and everything you do it. Once it is done, uh, can anyone tell me from how, how can I uh, take a snapshot of this machine? Uh, you have the option capture on the top. Yes. So here it is. I click on capture. I'll select a resource group. Maybe I want to create a new resource group or I'll keep it here wherever I want region see well, am i able to select the region here no right because it, it is going to capture the same region so before creating the machine you will have to keep this in your mind because region map ko ye banana rakhna hai iska image okay. then it share image to azure compute gallery what does it mean if i share it other people will be able to see it as an vm image version if i don't share it it will be only for myself okay. so i'll keep it shared automatically delete this virtual machine after creating the image. Do I want this? Up to you. If you want to make this machine, plus add few more machines in your load balancer, you can keep this one. But as of now, I'm just creating an image and I think after two months, I want to uh, start creating a load balancer and anything. So it's a better decision to delete this machine. Which machine it is talking about? This machine. The, the machine on which I am, this machine will be deleted. The moment an image is created, this machine will get deleted. Okay, guys? So as of now, I don't want that. Uh, target gallery. Do, is there, I already have one gallery here, TSOF. I'll save it in here. Or if you want to create a new gallery, you can do this. Generalized and specialized. We'll discuss this later when we discuss about this topic. As of now, we'll keep it generalized. Uh, Target VM image definition. If you want to uh, write something, it's okay. If you don't want to write, that's fine. Version number, you want to give any version number. Why would you give version number? Uh, if in case you keep on making some changes, so it is for your inventory purpose. Okay. Now it has nothing to do with your technically. Okay. Initially, ye banaya tha, usi ko rakke dusra version. So you will know what is the latest version. This VM version will not be considered the latest version. See, if you want to exclude it, if you're creating something, but do not want to uh, keep it in the latest version, you can do this. I'm going very fast with these options, guys. It's not important. Nahi hai. Our core topic is load balancer. I'm just explaining it to you. End of life date. When do you want this image to be deleted? Maybe this date. I want this to be deleted. Okay. Uska bhi koi replica chahiye kya aapko. If you want, you can do it. Uh, what kind of uh, storage do you want to use? Create that name tag and review and it's done i'm not creating one i'll show it to you how it looks like okay once it is done you will go ahead and again create a new virtual machine now we're talking about the load balancer okay load balancer ke liye, i'll start creating a virtual machine 
will create a load balancer also again because last time whatever we created i had to delete that i'll select this i'll go with one of the resource groups i'll give a name here uh, it's load balancer second practical vm first vm okay east us i want it in availability set if there is no i'll create one and guys i'm going with uh, these topics very fast because we have already uh, dedicated sessions you all of you know how to create an availability set i hope you know that right or did you forget guys do you remember how to create availability zone uh, av availability set what is availability yes. set i hope you remember yes yes, yes. so what is it i think space So I created availability set. Now here, image. These are the image we have been selecting, guys. Right, your market image is here. You come here, you select something whenever you create a machine. Right, now you understood what, what, what do I mean by image? These all are images. Maybe this is created by someone, maybe this is created by Azure. details that this is created by someone you will see all those details okay so this is what i meant by image but what am i looking for i am looking for image which i created so let's say i'll have to work on filters or i can go here also shared images here it is this is the one i created long back so now this machine it has one uh, software also, which will require for next practical a CPU tester. It has a website also. It has everything. I mean, whatever I want, it already has that. Are you guys getting the point? That now with, with the help of this one, I can create three virtual machines. And if you see the username and password is same for that, because it is already there. Before taking the screenshot, I made sure that everything is there. Yes, guys, any, any doubt you have, any questions you have? Yes, no, anyone, any doubt? Till here, anyone has any doubt? No, as of now, no. Okay. So this is one machine. Uh, do we have Amit? Amit, can you create one more machine? Uh, name it VM003 and uh, use the same uh, availability set here and same VNet and same subnet. I, are you using laptop, Amit, to join the session? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, just give it two minutes because your, I guess, VNet is not ready. It is creating the VNet now. Okay. Or are we using an ex, uh, existing VNet? Hmm. Yes, while this is being created, guys, anyone has any questions, please let me know. Okay, so Amit, VNet is not there. So wait for a minute. Let your VNet get created here. And then you can use a machine, create a machine. And uh, mm -hmm. name that machine like this. I'm sending it in text. Create it. T soft hyphen load balancer two hyphen VM003. The one I have created, I'll start with the second one also. And third, you can create. Sure. Okay. I think. So, Hale, uh, yes, sir, stay, tell me. Yeah. The, the image is selected for this one. So, mm -hmm. like, we are using different subscription, right? So, we don't have the same image which you use for this one. Right. So, we have to create the image. If you if you're so sure about it that you understood the concept, it's okay. You don't have to create. But if you want okay. to feel it, yes, create a uh, create a server first. Uh, install an IIS role on that. 
make some changes try accessing that server once you're sure that okay this is the good server uh, where i can practice create an image of that using the capture do it i guess because uh, creating an image also uh, uh, itself a good practical so create an image you want to share it you okay. don't want to share it it's up to you uh, create an image and using that image then create servers with availability zone do this practical okay. this week and, mm -hmm. and and it is it is not a subscription based by the way if if i put this uh, image in uh, marketplace all of you will be able to see it you you can open it for the market now now all other images they are obviously created by someone else so if it it, it is it it has no restriction or uh, subscription based restrictions are not there okay i can share it but it is recommended that you guys create one and uh, experience that so up at least do practical ho jayega wahan par Anyone else has any questions? I mean, just give me a minute. Let me quickly log into the server once, see if everything is fine, and then you can use the same image. Sure. You won't have to type user ID and password. If the moment you use that image, you it will not uh, give you an option to type user ID and password. Okay. Meanwhile, can one of you please go to this IP? Can you see this twenty one twenty four one was. Three and two or four. Can someone go to this IP and let me know if you see any website? Because the moment this server is up, you should see a website. I mean, if it has been uh, done properly, otherwise you won't see. But as far as I know, you should see it because I have configured it uh, well. Let me know. Go to this IP. I mean, I'm able to log in. You can uh, create the virtual machine third. Okay, sure. Yes, guys. Anyone, anyone tried that IP? I'm trying. And this one, you guys, you guys can try on phone also. This is the IP. From anywhere, you can try and let me know if it is working. Yes, it is working. Which website do you see? Uh, the Soft Info Solutions. Okay, great. So now let Amit create one more machine, and I am creating one more machine, and then we'll start our load balancing practical. Amit, make sure it is in uh, this one availability set and same availability set. Do not create a new availability set. Sure, sure. We have to do this virtual machine scale set also, guys. This all will come under load balancer. We are still reading load balancer, and this is the only topic we are going to do in detail. App gateway, traffic manager, and front door. Only one practical. I'll show it very quickly, and we are not going in detail. This is important, widely used, and uh, see, it depends on you guys. On a, in an interview, how you explain it. If he has asked a question about load balancer, start with load balancer definition, give the differences, everything, and then pick up one topic where you are where you are strong. Let's say load balancer. We are spending time on this one, so keep on talking about load balancer, and the interviewer will say, okay, yes, and next question arises. This is about to finish in ten minutes. This session will. Rejoin the session without any break. Unless you guys want any break, let me know. Amit, when it comes to images, go here and check for shared images. Yeah, I created the machine. I think it's, it's under process. That's, that's great. And I have this Ubuntu machine also. If someone is uh, from Linux background and they want to, in fact, this Ubuntu machine is also ready with a website. I can show it to you later, just for the practice. It's, it's almost similar. Uh, the, the only difference is how you host a website on Windows, how you host a website on Apache. These are this is the difference, but it will not be your job profile for sure. So you don't have to learn it. It's good to know. It's not need to know information. No one is going to ask you how to hold, host a website on Apache, how to host a website uh, on Windows. You don't have to do that. Anyone we have from Linux background here? System admin?
uh, Amit, did you click on all these? Uh, Which of the in, in uh, inbound ports? Yes, I selected those. Okay, great. I hope you kept the same VNet. Mm -hmm. Same VNet. One more thing, guys. Load balancer, we can create and then add this machine, or we can create a load balancer from here also. You see, it is under networking section. So if someone asks you that from where can you create a load balancer, we can go from the services, create a load balancer, configure it from there. We can configure the load balancer while creating or after creation, and we can create a load balancer while creating a virtual machine also, and we can see we can select an existing load balancer also. So how many methods are there? Understand one, you create machines, you create load balancer, attach them. Other one, you create a machine while creating a machine, just attach an existing load balancer. Third one, you create a machine while creating a machine, you attach a create a new load balancer. When it comes to load balancer, while creating a load balancer, can configure it, or after creation of the load balancer, configure it. Which is the uh, mandatory thing, guys, that I cannot skip while creating a load balancer? I'm saying I will do the configuration later. But there is one thing which is mandatory, which you have to do while creating, which is that I explained it in last session. Expecting an answer. Public IP. Perfect. Correct answer. What about what about others? Guys, what's happening? Make sure you practice. Hussein, do we have Hussein here? Hussein by Hokia. Okay, so this is one of the reasons Hussein. See, when you create a machine by just copy pasting a PowerShell script, take a PowerShell script, bahut chota ek machine banane ka, right? Ek, if, if you create a virtual machine using a PowerShell script, it's a hardly char ya panch line ka script hoga, you'll simply create. But these options I'm talking about. If you keep on creating virtual machines using PowerShell, you will never know ki aisa koi options hote bhi hai. Are you getting the point, Hussein? So make sure you and it's not only for Hussein for all of you. Uh, PowerShell is good. You will have to learn no doubt, but later at this stage, if you go with PowerShell, you will not understand the options. So it's always recommended to use GUI use portal. These many options you will not understand. Can Nick my basic kya hai, public post. What is this? If I click on none, what happens? Advanced me kya hoga? Load balancer ke kya options milte hai par you will uh, miss on these. Okay. Shutdown option. This you will never see when it comes to PowerShell script. I hope you all have seen the PowerShell script, right? We created machines using PowerShell script. But we did that uh, on the later part when we were already done with. Amit, you were able to create the availability set. Uh, selected, you, yes. You selected this one, right? Yes. I think machine is ready also. The machine is ready? Great. So what's wrong here? The selected availability set requires a virtual network. Amit B. So why can't I see this virtual network? See guys, this is the error you will face. This is how you will learn. Now can someone tell me what can be done here? What is the error first thing? How many of you understand the error? Tell me that. What does it what is it trying to say? VNet is different. It says that the availability set requires virtual network amid B dash VNet. So the right. one that is already selected is wrong. Right. Which means I'm creating a new VNet here. Though I did not click on here. See, you can create it by clicking here also. And if you do not do, the B X VNet apne ban jata hai. So this is creating new. Also, it says in bracket that the new one is being created. So what I'll have to do, I'll have to just go back and maybe refresh and create it from scratch. I'll try that. But what I want the same VNet. If I want to use that availability set, it has to be in same VNet. So see, this is how you will get errors, and this is how you will learn. But if you don't go to portal, you will not see all these errors. You will not learn. Oh, let's quickly do that. I hope I see it. Let's see. Oh, 
while I'm creating guys, anyone has any questions, please let me know. Please ask. Could be silliest question and anything, anything which comes to your mind uh, related to this topic, other topic, interview, anything. Because just don't want to waste time that I'm creating and wasting idle. That should not happen. Okay, now it has uh, shown me that uh, VNet. So I am selecting that VNet. Uh, it's okay. I can quickly review and create. Yes, guys. Any questions while this is being created? Anyone has any question? Okay, if you guys do not have, let me ask one question that what are the components of load balancer? This, this is one of the interview questions. You're saying that you implement load balancer. That is your day to day job. That's your routine work. It's one of your roles and responsibilities. And so my question is, what are the components of a load balancer? Yes, Amit, Asif, Hussain, Irfan. Look, uh, so load balancer has mainly two components, front end and back end. Front end will be a public IP address, back end will be we can create a pool where we can add either virtual machines, app services, or virtual machine skill set. Only two components. It's partially correct. What else? What are the other so components? We need port, port. Is port yes, component? Port no, no. I am not looking for vague answers, guys. Do not uh, load balancing Health rules. Probes. Health probe. Health yes, probes. that is one of the components. Shristi. Sanmitra, Yukesh Bhai, other components of load balancer. Yes, Ishan, if you know, you can also answer. Any, anyone, anyone. I'm just taking the a rules which we are going to define. <coughs> rules. Load balancing rules. Load balancing <coughs> rules. Health probe. <coughs> front end. Back end. Back end. Pool. These are the components there are more but these are fine okay guys only one minute is pending and this is done so as soon as this finishes we'll come back and start creating the load balancer and today we'll see the website uh, practical very quickly because we have already done that and then we'll see the uh, this one rdp meanwhile these three ips are there guys please uh, try to access if you are able to see the website on all, all these three ips I'm, so I'm taking it my same. I am not sure. I'll have to check. It okay. doesn't matter. Resource okay. group is is resource. What is it? Is it a logical boundary or what is okay. it? 